One minute remaining. Hello, Undertoads. Amanda here. An assassination doesn't get much better than the heat of a high-intensity hunt while you yourself are being hunted. I felt since Brotherhood first had a multiplayer in the Assassin's Creed series that it's a very well-structured and different way of putting a multiplayer into a non-first-person shooter game. Ubisoft takes the best elements from the game as far as assassination in this one, including your hook blade, and throws them into your combat with multiplayer. And I'll go over why that is in a little bit, but there are some improvements in Revelations, including some new faces you can also play as. Now you still have your smoke bombs and hidden guns, which were some of my favorites from Brotherhood's multiplayer, but also some improvements made on the character customization factor in Revelations deals mostly with your taunts and stun melee. You also get some new moves like the ability to have a proximity smoke bomb go off. But another new feature is that you can challenge a friend that has played this game, even if they're not online. It's a different way of doing this, but it works. Also, you rank up as you normally would, but in Revelations, you get rewarded for this. And it's not only by new abilities, but also photos and videos to let you know more about the Templar you're playing as. The downside to this multiplayer, though, is that Brotherhood did it better, in my opinion. And that was as far as the tracking system. As far as finding your target, you really have no direction. You just have a meter that gets more full as you get closer to them. This, I feel, makes everything not as fast-paced as it used to be. Also, I was not necessarily stunned with all the maps in multiplayer. Many of them seemed way too small. Not saying small spaces aren't great for a high-intensity game like this, but come on. There's one level that completely looks like a level in multiplayer from Brotherhood, but it's like 10 times smaller and you can't go outside on it. The maps could use a little bit of work in this game. But last but not least, I wanted to end on a good note and say how I enjoyed some of the new characters they added in. I do love that some of my old favorites like the Quartersin are still there, but I like the new faces too. I always enjoyed the Harlequin in Brotherhood, so of course I love the Ottoman Jester. He just looks tough and he's sneaky and he's probably the character that gives me the most fright when I see him sneaking up on me with his dagger for a kill by any other opponent. All in all though, the combat system has its ups and its downs in Revelations. I will still be playing it though because I think it has enough pros to my one real big con of no directional tracker. So this game is just truly great and unique in its own way still.